So here are my top five teams through three weeks of football. Okay, now keep in mind, keep in mind this list changes. Okay, the list moves. It depends how teams play. It depends the competition they play against, right? Um, and, you know, I try and keep an open mind. I try and keep an open mind. There are teams that are not on this list that people are going to have a problem with. I get it. They may be on the list next week, but I go off of their performances through three weeks of football. So anyway, here we go. Here's my top five teams in the NFL year to date. At number one, I have the LA Rams. Yes, the Los Angeles Rams. Okay, I have them over the Buccaneers. I have them over the Chiefs. I have them over everyone, okay? Uh, Matthew Stafford, what a great pickup. Okay, just under a thousand yards year to date, nine touchdown passes, only one interception. His favorite target, Cooper Cup. They've been hooking up like crazy. Last time I checked, I think Cooper Cup has five touchdowns. A little interesting. I thought Robert Woods would be his favorite target. And, you know, I think he's down, you know, in yards this year. But that team is loaded with talent, right? They have Van Jefferson, uh, Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, right? Like they have weapons. Obviously, they have a defense. OK, they have Aaron Donald, uh, Justin Hollins, Leonard Floyd, Jalen Ramsey. Taylor Rapp has actually done a very good job, right? And Jordan Fuller. I thought the Rams would hurt by missing John Johnson and Troy Hill. But that game against the Bucs was impressive. The job the secondary did against Tampa Bay was impressive. Okay, so as of today, this week, I have the LA Rams won. They have a loaded offense. They have a superb defense. Their coach, Sean McVay, is like in heaven right now with Matthew Stafford, right? It felt like with Jared Goff, he had to kind of like push Jared. And with Matthew Stafford, it's like, just go, 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 go. So I have the Rams as the best team in the NFL year to date. At number two, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I get it, they lost to the Rams, okay? But I have the Rams won. And keep in mind, that was really Tampa's first game away from home with an entire crowd present. Think about that for a second. Like really think about that. Tampa Bay won a Super Bowl. And that was really their first game away from home with a crowd present. Okay, when they played against uh, the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship game, supposedly there was 9,000 fans present for that game, but I think there was more. But even if there was more, it was half a stadium. The, the game against the Rams was really the first game Tampa played away from home. And you can tell it affected them. You could tell the noise affected them. You know, the entire setup affected them. And to be fair to the Rams, I don't think anyone was going to beat the Rams in that game. It doesn't mean that Tampa Bay is not still a Super Bowl contender. It does not mean that Tampa Bay more than likely will meet the Rams in the NFC Championship game where I think they will get their payback. But as of today, right now, I have them at number two. They're still loaded with weapons. They didn't have AB for that game, right? They didn't have JPP for that game, right? They just signed Richard Sherman, which I think is huge for their secondary. And don't be surprised. Don't be surprised because I don't think the Buccaneers are done. They're going to put a package together before the trade deadline, and they're going to go after another top 10 cornerback in the NFL. So through three weeks of football, I have the Rams one. I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at number two. At number three, I have the Buffalo Bills. I feel like everyone has forgot about this team. Everyone forgot that this team was one game away from the Super Bowl last year. Everyone forgot that this team in the offseason got a whole lot better on defense. As a matter of fact, Gregory Rousseau, year to date, leads the Buffalo Bills in sacks, okay? Uh, the Bills focused on their pass rush, right? They have 11 players on the roster on the D-line. Like, they really focused on their pass rush. I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that they saw the way Tampa played Kansas City, and they know in order to get to a Super Bowl, they're probably going to have to go through Kansas City. Josh Allen is starting to play like Josh Allen from last year. The first game was bad, but since then, he has just a little under 900 yards in total yards. He has eight touchdowns. It's funny because Stefan Diggs currently is third, right, in receiving yards on the team. Emmanuel Sanders, what a pickup. What a pickup. That's Josh Allen's number one target year to date. But make no mistake, by the end of the year, Stefan Diggs will be number one. 
But as of right now, Josh Allen is spreading the ball around, right? Stefan Diggs, Emmanuel Sanders, Cole Beasley, right? And then I still love Buffalo's secondary. Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, right? Uh, Trey Davius White. You have Matt Bellano in the middle. Like, they have defense. They have offense. This is a team that is reminding everyone that that first game they played against the Steelers, a game they probably should have won, like Buffalo could easily be 3-0 and right now, okay? Uh, they outgained Pittsburgh in total yards. They outplayed Pittsburgh in total yards. And the more we see Pittsburgh, the more we realize how bad they are, right? The Bills could easily be 3-0. and I feel like everyone has forgot about Buffalo. Everyone has forgot about Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, right? You know, this team is well coached. Okay, this team is well coached. And this is a team that's going to go deep in the playoffs and compete to win a Super Bowl. So Rams won, Tampa Bay two. I have the Bills at number three. At number four, I have the Las Vegas Raiders. Yes, the Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders are in my top five. I still have difficulty saying this, but I feel they deserve their respect. They have solid wins. They beat the Ravens, a team that made it to the playoffs last year. They beat the Dolphins, a team that had 10 wins, right? They beat the Steelers, a team that made it to the playoffs last year. Derek Carr is balling out. Okay, Derek Carr is balling out. If the MVP race ended today, he would probably win. Now, I don't know if he's going to keep that up all the way through to the end of the season. I'm not saying he's going to win the MVP, but year to date, he has been balling out. He has four receivers with over 200 receiving yards, right? You have Waller, you have Edwards, you have Ruggs, and you have Renfro. This Raiders team is for real. Gus Bradley has done an excellent job with the defense, right? The, the pickup of Denzel Perryman, Casey Hayward, and then you have Jonathan Abram, Trayvon Mullen. Like, this Raiders team is for real. John Gruden has finally brought this team together, and I cannot speak highly enough of the job that Gus Bradley has done on defense. This Raiders team is for real, and we're going to really find out a lot about them over the course of the next three weeks because they got to play the Chargers and the Broncos, right? and the Bears over the next three weeks. But I think the Raiders are going to continue to surprise people. I think they're for real and their confidence is growing with each and every win. And there is a good chance. There is a good chance that the Raiders can win their division. So I have the Raiders at number four. At number five, I have the Carolina Panthers. Don't sleep on this team. Okay, at the beginning of the year, I said this team would make the playoffs. The pickup of Hassan Reddick has been huge. He has four and a half sacks on the year. They have Brian Burns, right? They picked up Morgan Fox. The Panthers year to date, their defense has 14 QB sacks through three games. 14 sacks on the quarterback. They're hitting the quarterback. They're pressuring the quarterback. They are sacking the quarterback. Their defense is number one against the pass and against the run. Now, you can question the competition all you want, but if you've been watching their games, they're legit. Their secondary is legit. Their pass rush is legit. Their linebacker core is legit. This team is for real, okay? And I love the fact that they brought Sam Darnold in. I didn't think he would be this good. Now, he doesn't have a ton of touchdown passes, right, and a ton of yards, and one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but they don't need him to do that, right? They don't need him to be average either. He's been way above average, and he's been good. I don't believe in the whole system quarterback thing. Sam Darnold has done an excellent job with this team, and they have weapons, man. DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson. I know Christian McCaffrey is injured, but it seems like this team can run with anyone. The job Matt Rule has done with this team. Phil Snow, the defensive coordinator. People are sleeping on the Panthers. Now, I don't think they're going to win their division, okay? But they are going to qualify as a wild card team. And the only reason why they're not going to win their division is they have to contend with the defending champions, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But this is a team that can beat any of the best teams in the NFL on any given Sunday. They are a talented team on both sides of the ball. You have to pay attention to the Carolina Panthers and who knows how good they're going to be by the end of this year. They have a big game coming up where they can also make me look good, okay? Because I talked about this team before the start of the season. 
I've had them in my top five the last two weeks in a row, okay? They have to go play against the Dallas Cowboys. What a win that would be for the Carolina Panthers, okay? I actually think they can win that game. I think their defense is good enough. I think their offense is good enough, and I'm calling it now. The Panthers are going to go to 4-0 when they beat the Dallas Cowboys, and that is my top five, okay? I have the LA Rams at one. I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at two. I have the Buffalo Bills at three. I have the Las Vegas Raiders at four, and I have the Carolina Panthers at five. Hey everyone, thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.